Happy New Year to you. I hope you all had a wonderful New Year. We did. We were at work having a New Year's Eve party. I was singing my ass off all night. Lots of food, lots of great company. So we had a great New Year. I hope you all, you all had a wonderful New Year. We obviously, like I said, had a fantastic New Year's Eve party. We just popped out in the van again today. Uh, we're going out on the moors later. Um, but first of all, we've got to take Daisy to the vets because... Uh, you know she's getting on and she's got these like lumps on her which we were told in the past they were fine but we want them checked out and obviously we had our issues with her not being um happy staying at home when we're at work so we've taken her to work now all the time as you know and we just want to get her teeth and her breath and <laughs> she got bad breath basically get her all checked out where is the little girl she in there you ain't stuffed her any there she is you're gonna go and see the vets daisy yeah they're gonna give you the once over Smell your breath, check your lumps, make sure you're okay. You're right there, Jack. You gonna, are you gonna see the vets, Jack? Right then, well, we just stepped out of the vets and uh, they had a look at Daisy. She's lost about a kilo since April and um, she's got some slightly swollen lymph nodes on her back around, uh, you know, on the inside of her thighs. So they, they took some samples from her lymph nodes. She's got this like lump that's come up on her thigh. They've took some samples of that as well. So they're gonna send them away. Hopefully they'll have the results for us where well, they will have within a week. So next week they'll let us know what's going on there with Daisy um, and then see what the next step will be. The next step will be obviously where well, they said probably get a blood test done then um, and then they might be looking at her teeth more then. But Are you finding it after being to the vets, Daisy? Are you handling it all right after having all your needles? She must have had three injections or three needles to check two lumps on her legs and one on her side, bless her. Yeah, look at that. Well, like I said, we've um, we've just been to the vets with Daisy. So what we're gonna do, we'll pop over and see me mum now, cause she's out of hospital. So we'll pop over and see me mum and dad for a little while. And then we'll head up onto the moors, sort about, see about getting some lunch sorted. mum and dad and we help them get the Christmas decorations down do a little bit of a uh, little bit of cleaning as well they got these like circular ceiling fans and there are a lot of dust build up over them so we give them a good scrub for them and uh, they're all looking nice and shiny now and now we're heading off um, across Dartmoor towards Princeton to pick up our fish and chips for our favorite our favorite park up meal no cooking no dishes fish and chips in cardboard boxes Absolutely beautiful. So that's what we're doing. Just about approaching Prince Town now, as you can see, straight over the cattle bread. And we're just uh, gonna hang a left here at the little roundabout towards the old, uh, it used to be a police station. They call it the old police station in Prince Town. Never know, might see Jackie's, might see Jackie's sister's car park there. Never know, now I can't see it yet. I bet they'll be there later on in the day though. Oh, I'll put you on the right back. That's park. Forgot yeah. to press record. You're joking. It's been a bit of a quiet one today. We had our fish and chips and then literally we just we just chilled out in the van. I think I was watching YouTube videos. Jackie was editing one of our videos. Um, and rather than leaving it until nine, 10 o'clock and then heading back home when it gets quite late, we're gonna head off home now. What time is it? Is it half past six? Half past six now. So we're gonna head off home. We're gonna be lazy, <laughs> pick up a bit of KFC on the way home, take it home, sit in the front room, watch a bit of EastEnders or whatever we've got and just have a relaxing evening before we start back to work tomorrow after our Christmas break. I mean, we've had, I think, you know, we've had just short of two weeks, really. Well, if it's Thursday tomorrow, we've had like 13 days off, which is, that's pretty, that's about as much as we have, that's the longest we've probably had um, off work apart from, uh, you know, COVID and that, really, isn't it, Jack? So it's been an absolute lovely break. So we're going to head off home now, bit of KFC on rope, 
en route. Can you just point out, we don't normally have two takeaways a day. We don't normally have it's two. It's because we're not feeling... We're not safe. feeling... Yeah, we're not... Well, we're, 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 you know, it's been... I don't know. <laughs> feeling a bit run down. Yeah, we are. We're feeling a little bit, little bit run down. Don't know why this bug's going around all the time. I've no idea. Um, but we don't normally have two, two takeaways a day. But it's our, uh, it's our last day before we go back to work. And I don't fancy going back and cooking. And then we're doing a fitness plan. Are we? Oh, we're going back onto fitness. We hopefully are. So watch this space. <laughs> See what crap we end up eating. Uh, what crap you eat? Eat. Yeah. You don't like any of my healthy crap. Chicken and chicken and rocket. Okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Shit, get out of my eyes. Daisy, are you going to go work today? I'm going to put your lead on you. I'm going to take you to work. You're going to see Karen. A car's just pulled up and Daisy thinks it's Karen and John. And she's going blinking mental. It's not Karen and John today. We made it out in the bus again, and yes, well, it's Sunday, isn't it? So we've got another roast. I'll tell you what, though, this roast is absolutely lovely. I mean, we always love our food anyway, but it's freezing out there. I mean, it says the temperature is going to be like minus one. <laughs> it feels like it's getting there. I've got my woolly hat on, but we've got the heating on. But I'll tell you what, this roast, straight out of the oven, nice hot gravy, and oh... <laughs> We're using up almost the last of our turkey from Christmas. It was all portioned off in the freezer. I had three turkey portions left. Um, so we're just using up two of them. So we've only got one turkey portion left in the freezer now. So we're going to have to scrap over it. Unless we do a turkey stuffing and crumby panini, then we can share it. I think that's what we'll do. We'll share it in a panini. And this is how you do dishes with a meal like that. You squish the first one up, that's Jackie's. It's got a bit of gravy and a few peas in it, so I'm doing it dripping into the bin. And you seal them all up inside each other. There you go, double sealed, and you pop it in the bin. Bye bye. That's how you clean up after a full roast, a full Sunday roast. Thanks for doing the dishes, Carl. Oh, you're more. Well, we've got a bit of cutlery left in the gravy jug, but pff, that's nothing, isn't it? you say about it all daisy she had a right scoff she had all her chicken well half of it but she wasted a bit because she's fussy so what we've done is we put our chicken in jackie's roast tin with a little bit of gravy and a chopped up sausage and a tiny bit of turkey that jackie left and she scoffed the lot <gasps> and had a nice big drink of water after guess what i'm stuffed too i wasn't recording I'm gonna have to put some cards down. So I'm allowed to put action cards into money and I. Yes. One. One. Two. Two. Three. There you go. For all those who didn't realize, we're playing cards. <laughs> What's it called? Oh, Monopoly, isn't it, Jack? It's better than the board game, though, isn't it? It's better than the board game, but i got crap cards. For now. Good morning. Well, that was a blooming freezing cold night. That was absolutely freezing. It really, really was. Every time we had to get up for a widow, it was like, oh, absolutely freezing. So much so, um, when this morning, when I... Um, tried to fill the uh, kettle up. I filled half of the kettle up and then no water come out. So there's obviously something frozen down the bottom there somewhere. So I, I know I said, uh, 
I drain the water tanks, but if we're going away sometimes now, I'll just fill them up overnight and then drain them out again the next way. But yes, next day, next way, <laughs> next day. Uh, but yeah, something is uh, something's frozen down there somewhere. So hopefully <laughs> everything's going to be all right. Obviously it's the morning, so obviously I've got the breakfast on the go. So we're going to get tucked into that in a little while. I've um, yeah, it's all but ready now. Just got to do the eggs. And that's our beautiful view out the window. It's the same view we have every time we park here. But to be honest with you, it's not. Because it's generally quite wet and quite cloudy and quite unpleasant. But today we've got clear blue skies. I mean, we knew it'd be clear blue skies. When it's a freezing night, it's because there's no clouds around to give you any cover. So it's obviously going to be a nice clear, clear sky in the morning. But yes, yeah, so lovely out there. Yes, yeah, so I've got me frying pan here for the eggs and I've got me sausage. What have I got in there? Me sausages and me bacon and me mushroom. Oh no, that's the beans. Beans are in there, sausage, bacon, mushrooms, everything's in there. All I've got to do is crack some eggs in the pan. I haven't got any lights on because it's freezing cold and the batteries were low, so I'm running the engine instead. So I've got the heater on from the engine, so that's good. Let's get me little eggs out. Let's crack me eggs now, I normally, Start and turn, don't I? Because we're on a little bit of a slope here, so. There's one egg for Jackie. One egg for Jackie. No, she has at least three, than you, Jack? That's just two eggs. So there's one. I'll turn that down because it was starting to <laughs> smoke while I was getting things sorted. And then there's an egg for me. And there's another one for the old girl. Yeah, the old girl. And another one for me. There they go. Cook away eggs. Do your thing. I shove my old eggs in the baked bean tin. All the rubbish goes in the bean, baked bean tin and I'll leave that bowl for Daisy. Another momentous occasion. 17 weeks of having this van and we've done a pepper pot. 17 weeks it's took us. I know we haven't used it every day, haven't we? Once or twice a week, if we can. 17 weeks and we've done a pepper pot. That's amazing. Almost done a brown sauce in 17 weeks. <laughs> God knows how many tins of baked beans and sausages we've done. I'm gonna open a new one now. Look at that, look. God, I know how to spoil us. Come on, Pepper. Ah, this is where I ripped my thumbnail off. Come on, get off, bike. There he is. Bye bye, faithful and loyal Pepper Pot. You can go in the bin. And as you all know, the only thing we got to do now is get this in there because we're hungry. How was your evening, Jackie? Very cold. Very cold and? Freezing. And freezing and? It's very cold and very freezing. Very cold and very freezing. Very freezing My for me. My so cold. Because we get up about four times a night for a widow. And I only wear me boxers. And Jackie wears like, she wears full entourage to bed, like, you know, because it's cold. So we get out, I'll go to the toilet first. And then I've got to sit on the freezing cold chair with just me boxers on in sort of like zero degrees while she takes four hours in the loo. <laughs> I'm not sure I would do it again when it's so cold. Yes, yeah, she would. No, what we'll do next time is, if I would fill the other gas bottle up, then we could leave the heating on low all night. Yeah. That's the idea. My face was so cold. But I was planning on going over to Cornwall and filling the glass bottles up, but then one thing led to another and the day dragged on and we didn't go over to Cornwall. And that's where the LPG is. So we went up onto Dartmoor with just one gas bottle and- uh, One thing led to another, that's what they all say. Absolutely. Right, come on then, love. What? Let's eat. All right. <laughs> Now we've had our breakfast, <laughs> we got the lengthy cleanup process. Well, that's my job. And Jackie, as you can see, is doing the bed. Jackie, what? you cracking on nicely with that there? Trying. Show us that beautiful smile. Look at me, adorable. <laughs> How rude. Get on with your chores, woman. Well, that's all the breakfast dishes washed and the sides cleaned down and the cooker cleaned. Leave them there for a few minutes to air dry and then I'll get the old tea towel on them. Don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day, to be honest with you. The thing is, 
it's nice just lounging around and doing very little, isn't it? I mean, it's beautiful out there. So I said, if I can take Daisy for a little trot, um, I might stay off the grass because it might be a bit, might be a bit mushy in places. I always end up dragging mud <laughs> and sheep poo back into the blinking, into the van. We don't want to be doing that. So I think Jackie might be having a shower in a minute. I'll put the water on for her. That'll take about half an hour or so to warm up. It'd be nice if we could sort of like clear up, get Jackie all sorted and head off uh, the site while it's still, you know, a nice bit of daylight. And then now we can head over the Tamar Bridge, get some LPGs, LPGs? <laughs> get some LPG <laughs> to keep the heating going. Because I'll tell you what, in this weather with our tiny little gas tanks, the heat in, <laughs> It just swallows up the gas. It really, really, really does. So now it'd be nice to top up that gas and then head off uh, and find somewhere else to park up and have tea, tea this evening. It'd be even better if we can get there while it's still daylight so we can see a different scenery for a change. And while we're on the subject of all the things that we've done, 17 weeks and we've done a fairy liquid. <laughs> I'm just thinking about all the supplies we started off with. I mean, we're almost out of the first tube of toothpaste. <laughs> that's nearly gone oh what else I mean, no we haven't done a roll of toilet roll yet <laughs> we've probably done about 20 rolls of toilet roll um we've done a we've done a packet of wet wipes had to change that last week um what else have we done oh i'm just thinking of all the consumables do you know what i mean most of the food and that's like on a rolling thing in it but things like tea i mean the tea bags 240 tea bags was that last week or the week before so that we've done done that big box of tea bags so tea bags pepper pot Washing up liquid, <laughs> wet wipes. What else have we done? Any kind of, Oh, the brown sauce is literally on its last legs. So, you know, so um, I think, you know, 17, 17 weeks we've had this for. We've used it, say, once a week. So that could be, you know, 17. So maybe like 17 days, you could say. Because sometimes we haven't used it for a couple of weeks. Sometimes we've used it two or even three times in a week. Like, you know, the van. Yeah, so maybe 17 days, which is about, you know, what's that, just over two weeks. Sounds about right, doesn't it, for a pot of washing up liquid at home, isn't it? Pot of washing up liquid lasts you about two weeks. Big box of tea bags, two weeks, because you're home all the time, drinking tea all day, every day. Wet wipes. <laughs> Go for a packet of them a day at home, I tell you, especially with the bloody kids. Some people really know how to get comfy. If you can hear that fantastic music in the background, that's me singing on our New Year's Eve party. There I am, look. Ain't not bad, ain't I? Bit handsome, ain't you? <laughs> I'm having a good crack at it there. I do like me Elvis. Right, I'm just taking my rat out for a widow. Come on then, don't you get? Don't you get? You know how to do it. Come on. Get down. That way. That way. <laughs> Daisy. Down. There. Go on, blooming now. Let's get the door open. Whoa, check out that sunshine. There you go. Go on. There's a good girl. <sighs> well, it's pretty beautiful out here. Windy, but beautiful. Sunny, clear skies, fresh air, but windy and cold. You're not going to hear any of this because the wind is howling. They've got this lovely little um, landmark spot here. I think it must point out to, there you go, all the destinations around Tavistock, maybe towards Plymouth, don't know. Very interesting though. Looking back, that's the road. And you know what? And there's the van up there. There's a few vans in the car park. Yeah. Well, 
but it's two o'clock and the sun's, sun's still shining so we're going to head off over to Cornwall top up our gas again and uh, see if we can head for somewhere else just for the rest of the day you can be on me oh there's something coming in there really quick take a spot mate they come round they dawdling because they ain't got a clue where they're always pulling in there that's good Come on, little man, he's big man. Now he's still a little man. He's only what, September, October, November, December. He's not even four months old yet. He's a little man, little William. Right, what fell over? Ask oh, that bloody drawer. Uh oh. That'll have to be sorted. <laughs> Some idiot left the kitchen drawer open. <sighs> oh, I bet you're referring to me. Don't be so stupid. When would you ever go into the kitchen drawer? <laughs> <laughs> you don't do the cooking and you don't wash the dishes Ooh. no i don't mean that in a negative way I, I got my job you got yours my job is cooking and dishes and driving and yours is laying on the bed looking like a princess and we'll go that way i think because you like that way laying on the bed looking like a princess cleaning cleaning you do the vacuuming don't you you do the vacuuming and you mop out the shower when it's all wet and horrible. There we go. That's it. We made it across the Tamar Bridge and I've gone and uh, topped up my gas again and topped up my diesel. I think with me gas and me neat diesel and a couple of little snacks, it comes to like 90 something quid. So, um, but you know. It's not bad, really, considering we don't really spend much money. When you're out in the van, you know, if you can do your wild camping and that, I mean, they charge you, you pay 30, 40, 50, whatever, pound per night for campsites anyway. So, you know, a little bit of diesel, bit of gas and a few snacks, everybody's laughing. So we're um, heading off now, obviously, into Cornwall. I think we're gonna go to the same place as we stayed uh, last week. We ain't really got time to be looking for other places because if you go for a two hour drive to find somewhere nice, it'll be dark by the time you get there. We won't be sleeping out tonight, but we'll stay there till about eight, nine o'clock. Then we'll come on home and uh, obviously we got work in the morning. Right, we're heading down to a little village called Millbrook. And this is the one, I couldn't quite remember where it was, but it is this one that's got all those little tiny multicolored houses and it can be quite narrow around there as well so oh i'm looking forward to that hope i don't meet anything when it gets into the into the village itself into the narrow bit don't want to meet anything because it can get a little bit awkward although the last time i come down here i've not had the van very long so i was bricking myself a little bit maybe i won't be sweating quite so much today what about when it's dark though well i'd come and stay down here until it gets dark well, he's still he's still coming for me Sir, we're surviving so far. It's not too bad. It's a cute little village, actually. There's beautiful houses. I'm not quite as scared as I was last time we come down here. Like I said, I've not had the van for too long. I was still getting used to it being, you know, they're not massive, but it's obviously a lot bigger than a car. Whoa! And that's it. I think that's it. I think that's too bad. Say it no, for us. That was, that was, it was a shock last time. It wasn't was it? a shock because I'd not long had the van. It was brand new. You've terrified of scratching it. Obviously, I still don't want to scratch it now, but I've had a little bit of experience. And so, oops, that's a narrow bit. Wait for him to Very come narrow. through. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Thank you, boy. There we go. Not out of the woods yet. That's a cute little village, wasn't it? Is it called Millbrook? Millbrook. I have to tell me Dad. Millbrook. <laughs> there, we're out. Oh, look at that. The little church house. Beautiful. That's the dead centre of Millbrook in there. <laughs> the dead centre. <laughs> That's dead good, that is. That's Plymouth over there. Right. No, it's Plymouths over there. Plymouths. <laughs> Plymouths. Do you call Plymouths? <clears throat> Hello, Plymouths. Should we get the Cremel Ferry across? It would sink with this on it, wouldn't it? What's he doing there? Low life? <laughs> it's probably worse there. Does he? 
Probably gone. waiting for the boat. This is where you wanted to go so badly. Only because I couldn't remember. You said you it's really want to go here. Over there. Really badly. Yeah, that's cool actually. It makes you feel. Don't like, do it right next to that white. Hardly, bud. The muffs. The muffs. This is 19 foot long, though. Look at this. You want to park up here one night, disabled. Well, when. We're, only, we're not parking, we're just perusing, perusing. We're not hurting anyone. Look at that, Carl. It's water, love. Handbrake, park here. That's dockyard in the warships. Ooh. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to her channel. Not a bad little park up, I must say, right in front of the river, looking out across at Plymouth. And looking straight back at Jackie, where is she? Pay attention, woman. <laughs> ahead of us, and there you can see ahead of us, the Cremel Ferry coming in. You can't get cars on that one, obviously, but it's uh, it's a good place if you want to just hop over from, Crim from Plymouth to get to Mount Edgecombe. You get that family, that ferry. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to come across to the little f place on the other side with my push bike and bring my push bike with me and then come and cycle around Mount Edgecombe. Good old Cremel Brilliant, Ferry. Isn't it? Yeah. That's it, boy. Oh, look at that sky. Oh, look at that sky. <laughs> Whose pretty house is that? That's right, we've just been here and we're coming back. Balamori. Right, Balamori. here we freaking going on. Oh. <laughs> oh. And I've got a car behind me. God, that's a thing is I used to be a bus driver so when I'm taking corners <laughs> in tight areas and that I always give myself loads of room because obviously I'm used to driving the old, the big vehicles well in the olden days and uh, then I check my mirrors and yeah there's a miles clear that is the, the, the advantage of being an ex-bus driver because I always sort of like in my head I feel like I'm driving a large vehicle so I always give myself lots of room It was all at a standstill. We wondered why. We saw a bus up the front, but the bus was trying to get past another van where he's got a flatbed on the back, so he's sticking out, sticking out a bit either side of me. Thank on. you, bud. There. Drama over. The good thing about being behind the bus means that anything coming is going to move out of the way for the bus, and we can all slide through because. Uh, Again, being a bus driver, you tend not to reverse unless you really, really have to. Because you can't see behind you. I mean, a lot of the modern ones now hopefully have got reversing cameras on them. But when I was on the bus, when I was on the buses, half of the buses, well, most of the buses didn't have reversing cameras. So what you'd do, if you had to reverse, you'd get out of the cab, you'd run to the back, see that it's clear. It all looks clear. You, by the time you're back in the cab and moving forward again, you've got someone beeping their horn at you. What I used to do a lot of the times, if I had to reverse, I'd ask, ask a couple of, ask some of the passengers to go to the back and look out the window and guide me. Well, I think we're gonna, this is, we're gonna be about six minutes now. Because I remember when you said, that, I think the whole video, last time we'd done it, was nine minutes, but that was going through that little village as well, wouldn't it? Hello? 
Well, this is our little spot for now. As you can see, the other day when we parked up, we parked down the end there where that car is reversing. And we was, uh, we were, what should I say, sloping very much forward. There was a, quite a forward slope towards, you know, towards the edge of the cliff. <laughs> but the handbrake was on and it was okay. But we're parked here today, up the top of the car park, because we saw a van parked up here. And we thought, ah, oh, and he was parked sideways, so we thought, ah, oh, that must be a good spot. And um, got me a little doodah, right? These are an absolute godsend. Most people know about them. They only cost a couple of quid off eBay or Amazon. You can see front to back we're level. Sideways, we got a, we got a bit of a lean there towards, if we were sleeping towards our head, but that's not a problem. Just have an extra, rub your pillows propping your head up. You won't even notice that. I don't think we're going to sleep here tonight because we got, we got work tomorrow. But I said to Jackie, we could do and get up at six instead of seven and just drive straight home. And we'll be back home in time for our seven o'clock shower. So we made it to our park up. Like I said, don't know whether we're staying here or not because we've got work tomorrow. Um, but it's a lovely spot. It's a really nice spot. We've got the ocean and the cliff right beside us here or behind us where we're sat. This is this is the where we're sat on the bed at the back. So this is how we'd be sleeping like, you know, tonight. And uh, yes, it's it's really nice. You know, it's fairly it's fairly level. It's sloping a little bit back this way, but then it slopes a lot more the other direction. You know, when we're pointing in the other direction. But we've had a great day actually. You know, when we come out last or yesterday afternoon, we came out. We spent last night out on the moors, as you saw. We had a roast dinner. We had a nice full English this morning. Jumped in the van, had a nice travel across the Tamar Bridge. Went and topped the gas up, which is what we always got to do because we only got tiny little gas bottles. So it's always trying to top the gas up. You know, in the winter, in, sorry, in the summer, it'll be so much better because obviously we look, we won't need the heat in, so we'll only need the gas for cooking and it'll just last for ages. So yeah, some of the upgrades I'd like to get for this van, obviously, I think a diesel heater would be the answer because then you could have the, you know, apart from the energy, you could, you could have it running 24 seven and it's so easy to top up your diesel. You know, there's probably enough uh, diesel in the tank to keep it going for blinking weeks. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so I think one of the one of the big upgrades we'd like to get this at some time would be a diesel heater and also a solar panel and also may, maybe a battery upgrade, maybe have a lith some lithium batteries installed or even an extra normal battery that might just give us a bit of extra, you know, make them last a little bit longer. What are we doing now? I'm not normally a coffee drinker, although at work I do like the cappuccinos we have in our machine. Um... And I've started drinking those, um, like the Nescafe, you get like eight or ten of them in a box. Um, cappuccinos, you just add water, they're absolutely lovely. And I could have done with some of them last night and this morning, but I never had any. And when we went to get our gas and our diesel top up, I went to the petrol station, I had a little look around. And sure enough, they had my little ca Nescafe sachets of cappuccinos there. So I bought a box of them. Don't know if you can hear that, the kettles are whistling. So Jackie's going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to have a long-awaited cappuccino and I know we're really going to enjoy it. And we're going to play Monopoly. And we're going to play Monopoly. And we're having a pepperami. And we're going to have a pepperami. And also, um, not entirely sure what we're going to do for tea. Well, you know, sometimes the simple things are the best things. Jackie's been fancying egg and beans on toast for ages. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I've got egg, I've got beans, I've got bread. <laughs> and, a, and a grill oven <laughs> with a pretty lame grill. Maybe if I left it on for 10 minutes to warm the grill up, maybe the toast would do a little bit better. I've done, muff, you know, the, the muffins I do. I've toasted the muffins under it, but I've put them under it from cold. And I think it probably takes so long for the grill to warm up. It's just sort of like made them hard and stale rather than toasted them. Can't you have toast in that uh, ridge monkey? Well, maybe. Maybe I could do one slice at a time or something like that. Oh, but no, I think I'll use the I'll use the grill. I'll put the grill on. I'll give it about ten minutes to warm up, or five to ten minutes, because if you ain't got the grill on, you got the eating on. So it's you know you're still using gas regardless. You can fry the bread. Now you're just being a big fatty fried bread. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. You don't and add to that, don't we? <gasps> Look. <laughs> Better go and make that cup of tea. So that's the kettle whistling. Let's turn him off. And these are what I've been missing on. 
missing out on Nas Nescafe Gold Cappuccinos. So I'm going to have one of them. That was all boiled and whistled at us. I'm going to only tear it open. It's got to be a little corner. Or a little, little secret corner. Maybe I'll just do it from there. There we go. I'll have that one. They're idiot proof. Get there in a minute. There he is. Chuck him in there. That's mine. Jackie got a tea bag. Let's chuck Jackie's into soap. And then mine. It says stir it for 30 seconds to make it nice and frothy. There. Thirty seconds, it says. I'll stir it fast for twenty. That'll do. And it doesn't need milk, but I'll probably slop a little bit in the top of it because it will cool it down, then, won't it? And it will make it milkier, which will be nice. And they're nice and frothy and creamy. I don't know whether you can see that without pouring it out of me cup. We're playing cards again. Yay! 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 got a green light well this one for starters yep but we might not get straight on the ferry they might change the lane as we get closer because if there's not one there they're not going to move us aren't they? mm. they're not going to move us forward have to wait for a little bit there's one there but it's dark Well, that was a nice, um, nice day, you know, day off, overnight, uh, wild park, whatever you want to call it, wasn't it? Pity we got work tomorrow, because I could have done with another night out. Here we go, we're in Plymouths. Yep, the, the ferry's landing, it's still moving, but the ramp's going down. We've moved from Cornwall to Devon, just like that. Come on, boy, come on. There he's land. has he landed? I heard something called clunk. Right, turn him on. Me lights on. Turn that one on. Get him in drive. Such a good service, isn't it? It's brilliant. Wait for him to wipe. Wave me off. He's got to wave, wave us all off first. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Won't be icy. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. And here we go. Where the fuck's, where the, fuck's the road? I'm like two lanes here. I'm going nowhere now. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I, I couldn't see the blinking road. There was like, I come across halfway across two lanes, and then it's like, where am I going here? Mm -hmm. And then another car started running towards me. We've got none of our sexy lights on. So that's going to be it. That's going to be it for this video. Is it called? Yeah, that's it until we get our next adventure. So, uh, like I said, we just come across the Tall Point Ferry. Lovely little crossing. Always, always fun. Always fun been going over that Tall Point Ferry since I've been a little boy. But it's always, always good fun going over that ferry. Um, we've had a great, we've had a great day or so. For I don't know how long we've been out for. Thanks it's, for a good day, Carl. Oh, thanks for a good day, Jackie. 24, 25, 6. Excellent. It's only about 28 hours, something like that, but it's 28 hours, that way I'm going to go, 28 hours of freedom, isn't it? So basically, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this um, video, channel, whatever. Uh, if you can, please like and subscribe to us and you'll see anything else we get up to in the future. And uh, have a lovely week and hopefully we'll be seeing you all or you'll be seeing us at least. Hopefully you'll be commenting and we'll be commenting back within the next week or so. So you take care, stay safe. All the best now.
Bye bye. Bye bye. It's Daisy's. Daisy's on tour. It's Daisy's. Daisy's on tour. Jackie and Carl and the little whore. Daisy. And who? Daisy's on tour. The little whore Daisy yeah. show. <laughs> I don't know that. Join us. Daisy's on tour. Daisy's on tour. Daisy's on tour with Jackie and Carl and of course Daisy the dog. That's more than enough love.